Now, Luke Milligan comes from the uh, infamous uh, Rockstar Camp, also trains, cross trains with the Alpha Male and the infamous Chaz Bryant. I mean, <laughs> many people just don't know the level of attention that comes from this camp. Keith Richardson. No, I've seen Chaz Bryant throw some triangles uh, uh, a day or two. Uh, he's fighting a really tough guy with, with Ryan Jett coming from Dark Side of MMA, who trains there with Michael Allen and Paul Mushu, Czech Matt, Real American Grappling. So we'll really have to see where this pressure comes from. I, I, what do you think about Luke? <clears throat> I, I like Luke. I like, he's, he's a good fighter. He's athletic. He, he's just explosive, you know what I'm saying? And when you put two camps together that come from an explosive background like Modern Warrior and Dark Side, the two camps, it's nothing but a war. That's what I see. I see a war coming out of this. Uh, I've watched Jet fight in the past. He has a very unique style. He has a very unique style of moves. He, he likes to throw punches from very odd angles. Uh, he's caught me a time or two with some up punches and up kicks that I was like, oh man, where'd that come from? And I'm on the other side of the cage. Uh, on that being said, though, Ryan Jett's coming very bad shoulder injury, so let's see how this this tends to come. Here we go to the fight. The shoulder injury is This is Modern Warrior. This is, this is epic, guys. This is North Carolina versus South Carolina. Uh, you know, both fighters come in in state, come from wrestling backgrounds. They know that pedigree. They know that drive. Got Ryan Jett in the red corner and Cage Walker in the blue corner. Ryan has this. Ryan Jett has this unorthodox fighting style. It throws stuff from anywhere, and he has magnificent hair. <laughs> so I, I'm really excited to see him back in the cage. He's coming off of a very bad shoulder injury, uh, sidelined him for a good, a good while. Um, I'd like to see if it affected him in any bit. Uh, so far, we, we, we see Cage Walker coming out here and really being pressured back. Ryan Jett doesn't seem like he's lost his step. No, uh, Jett kind of has his unorthodox kind of karate slash traditional style stance where he's very bladed and doesn't leave an open target. Which with a wrestler once with Milligan's wrestling background with Modern Warrior who wanted to get him to open up and get a solid takedown. You know, Jet work, works with some very good athletes. You know, I seen him the other day when I was walking through one of the gyms. He was, he was doing some very good pad drills with, with uh, North Carolina's own Jeremy Holloway. And uh, he does a lot of good technique and drilling with uh, none other than Ricky Rainey and Jeff Gino. You know, and uh, I've seen some very good things out of him, and it's, glad, it's good to see him back inside of the cage. And here we go, we are being joined by none other than John Henry GQ. <laughs> Welcome to the, to the mic, said GQ. It's good to have you. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks. What do you, what do you think of this uh, this matchup here between Ryan Jett and Kerry Walker? Here you go, Chess. Um, what do you think about this matchup there, GQ? I've never really seen a uh, Luke fight. Uh, Ryan's super athletic. Uh, crazy elusive and everything I've seen from him. So. You would say he has a very unorthodox style, right? Yeah, I mean, I I like the race. I like to watch it. Yeah. I watch just very entertainment. He's, he's in and out on his combination. He steps in, throws what he wants to throw, and he's back out before Morgan has a chance to, to set up and counter strike that. You know, I watched your last fight there, uh, John Hitty, and you took some nasty leg kicks. Tell me, how long did it take for you to start walking straight? Uh, probably a good week or two. I could tell, because it was like feet red. But you, you stuck it out and you won a very tough fight and defended your title. Uh, this fight right here between Jet and Luke, Ooh. I don't know exactly which weight class this is, but is this a contender fight for you, you think? Could, you be, could this be a contender match? This, well, I'm turning pro, so. Turning pro? Yeah. I'm you're, am you're staying amateur. This would be a good contender fight, right? Oh, yeah. I, I, I actually love this fight, uh, Ryan. I think that would have been a fun one. Oh. Yeah. 
not, not every fighter can can use that mindset and progress forward. As for me, like I can't I can't fight with that kind of mindset in my head. It drains my energy too much. So someone that can capitalize on that, yeah, it'd be good. I, I always laugh for my fights. What, what, what about you there, John Hitting? How do you enter a fight? What, what is your mindset? Uh, I just try to stay cool and calm. Uh, I like to get to the There's nothing calm about this fight. Oh, These no. fighters don't like each other. I, 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 I was telling them about the uh, altercation at the Rollins. I, I didn't get to see it, but uh, you know, I see Ryan Jett with his magnificent hair. And Nick Milligan has some pretty nice hair to boot. Uh, it seems like Luke is, is exactly. Luke is backing up a lot though. It seems like Jet is controlling the yeah, pace with that unorthodox style. I think he, Luke needs to like, be a little more aggressive and uh, close the distance in on Ryan because the Ryan's just going to be content to bounce around and you know pep it away from the outside. It would almost, it would almost seem like Luke would need a takedown to, to stop this barrage of unorthodox style punches that Jet's landing. Jet just caught him with a nice body shot and a, a head shot. Jet seems very comfortable, even though being off for a couple months with the shoulder injury. Good leg by hand. Yeah, trying to nail again. <laughs> you know, that, that, and here comes the cocky attitude with, with Ryan Jett. He, he is, he's always had that, that, that attitude, and I think it's, he's a young fighter, he's new in the sport, and he's got a lot of talent, and he's very athletic, and he can get away with it. He's, he's very charismatic. That's why. Uh, oh, good and shot of both. They both the punches, but Luke took the worst of it. Let me tell you, Ryan Jett has dynamite in his hands. Yeah, that was a good hard shot to Milligan. For Milligan to still be standing after taking that shot is a testament to his testicular fortitude. <laughs> and Brian is going to keep getting more confident. Confident, you know, Luke's going to have to do something. Yeah, to this steal some of this from the below. That's, that just knocked the sails out of Luke's. Yeah, Luke really needs to get in and close his pivot and start some pressure grappling, some pressure wrestling to counteract this outside game by Jet. Excuse me, that, that knocked the wind out of Luke's sails with, 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 with that strike. And he got a lot of blood coming out of Luke's uh, nose and yeah, right guess, side of his face. Luke. Now Luke's starting to get some pressure in there. I still think that, that Jet has owned the center of the cage and Jet has owned the respect for this fight. Yeah, I mean, he, he's definitely controlling this off the gun. He's moving Milligan where he wants him to go and landing those shots that he's picking to choose. He clearly showed why they call him Captain Turnup. Yeah, he's got a turn up. I'll say that. <laughs> Ryan has hit him with some big shots. We are definitely going to go to a third round. And here we go, round number three. Yeah. I have two rounds to Ryan Jett, zero rounds to Luke Milligan. Luke really needs to come out and finish this fight. In this direction, he has to do it. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. Even if he completely dominates the third round, having to come back from two rounds down, he has to make it up there. There's TKO, TKO, or submission, who has to push forward in this last round. It's all or nothing. Jet doesn't look at all. Nah, nah. If I was Ryan Jet's corner, I'd be telling him to keep doing exactly what he is doing. Now, I wonder who is being served in Luke Miller's corner. Keith Richardson is there. He's talking very highly to him. It sounds like he's almost saying, look, you got to move forward. you got to press him, and you got to finish him. Yeah. You're not going to win this on the judges' scorecards. Yeah. You have to move forward. Finish it. Yeah. It's the only way you win. Yeah, I think having a coach like Rockstar in the corner, I mean, seeing things from the outside and knowing what you have to stick through and push through, who knows what's going on. Third and final round for the Milligan Jet fight. in the final round 49. You know, it seems like Luke is almost fighting scared. It's like Jet has stolen 
every out. I'm sorry. I'm going to just start calling him Captain Turnip because he has turned he has turned this crowd into fans. Yeah, so far everything that uh, Milton has done, uh, Jets had an answer for. The Chiefs can't really take Captain him. Captain Turnip. Turnip. Uh, everything he's done, he's had an answer for it, man. Uh, Milton shoots in, he turns him off the cage. He doesn't allow him to be pressured up against that uh, wrestling style that uh, Milton is uh, Cam is famous for. Man, this jab is just on spot. For him to be able to, as a young fighter, be able to see some of the position that he sees now. I mean, that's that's just, this is almost a Leo Machida style fighting that he's doing. He's counter punching a lot, and he's, he's not letting the loop take the dominance of the fight. And he's breaking him mentally and physically. And he just hurt him with uppercut. Now he's got him reeling right now. Good body shots for Jet. Milligan really needs to get in and close that distance. Luke's got a clip. Yeah. He's just trying to really kind of recover. Uh, I mean, those body shots and those head shots, man, they're, they're really working him now. Those legs are still wild. Man. Uppercut. Now, you can take nothing away from Milligan's heart in this fight. He's standing there and he's taking shots, shot, shot and he's still moving. And as a guy that likes to counter punch, what Luke's gonna have to do is he's gotta get up in his face. Yeah, you know, like I, that's what I hate is having a guy to get something in my face and won't let me have my distance and bounce around and pep my shots from the outside. Yeah, I would imagine that Jet's entire game plan is based off uh, using that distance, using that speed, so if Luke can counteract that, his game plan, uh, game plan can just fall apart as you watch. Uh, it's very hard that you've been hit as hard as Luke has in this fight to. To keep stepping forward like that, you can hit with a shot. Yeah, that says a lot about the character and the heart of uh, Milligan. You know, Jet, Jets Some people take shots excellent. and they crumble. Other guys take shots and they get back up. Luke is, very, is hanging in there, and I mean, nice job, I mean. Jet is really showing how, why he's such a talented fighter. Yeah. He's, he's a half step ahead of Milligan. different because when he comes in here he works it out how you feeling uh i feel like <laughs> mediocre why because i ain't knock him out i like to get the finish you know they gotta be sleep you feel me it's gotta be a real presentation right drama all the, yeah, drama all the way dramatic <laughs> i've been talking shit yeah you, know you always I've been do telling everybody i'm gonna fucking whoop him <laughs> knock his ass out he did and then I, you didn't I get just, to live up to it. I cut his ass up though, oh, but I ain't get to, you know what I'm saying? No, but, but Not seriously, seen seriously though. So the last time you were here at Fight Lab, it's been a little while, right? Yeah, it's been a year. You hurt yourself, you hurt your shoulder, right? Yeah, it came out like three times. Yeah. So, tell me what you did to kind of get yourself back together. Any like rehabilitation? Yeah, I any did. Any special a, stuff you did? I did some rehab. Uh, I just focus. I've been cruising on God-given talent, you know. <laughs> so I just start working a little harder, and yeah. I need to get back. Like I just, I've been training like three weeks for this fight, you know. So just get, I, I had to get an opponent, you know, in order to get serious. Yeah, yeah. So I had to get it out of the way, but I'm back in that action. So 
Uh, this is probably my last amateur fight, and then uh, you, I'll be going pro next time you see me. Nice, very nice. So, training at Dark Side MMA with some of the best. Yeah. Cornbread, Michael Allen, Young Mr. Nassim Al right Diamonds, who's over here in the corner right now. Young Nassim right here. Nassim. Young boy. Who always wears the jewelry, doesn't always matter. Always shined up. <laughs> But no, seriously, what did you do this training camp? You didn't have that long to train. What was some of the things you did to prepare yourself for this fight tonight? Really, I just got back in dark side, let them boys whoop my ass. <laughs> let me know I ain't know what I, you know, yeah. humble and experienced. Got back in there with my boys. I just got back in there with my team, you know, dark side. I got back in there with them, you know, they, they stay on me. So you can't whoop me. Yeah. I just want to be able to, you know, get them. So it was all right, could have did better. Could have done better, well. Got the dub. Uh, all of the money that I got from this fight is going to a child's place. Nice. And it's, uh, nice. it's an organization for homeless children. Mm -hmm. So Very nice. that's where I'm giving all the money to. I just had to get back out here, you know, yeah. just get back out here and get back in that action. And then you'll be you'll be back. You're ready yeah, to go. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back. I'll probably be going pro next time. I'm going to do a two-on-two -two with my young boy <laughs> before I go pro, because you can't do that when you go pro. So you can't. Two-on-two, two, the true. young boy, and then, then I'm going pro. And it's a whole nother ball game. You know, it's like I practiced with them. So I didn't want to kick him in the head because yeah. it's amateur. Right. You know, I can't elbow. Rules. You rules. know, it's rules I got to think about. And I'm done yeah. with the amateur because I, I don't like having to think about it. I need to be able to just get on you. I understand. And I have, so that's the thing. So before so, we let you leave and, like, and enjoy your victory, take a minute and thank some of your training partners that really helped you get ready oh, for this man. fight. Oh, man. Everybody, man. Bread, Cornbread, Michael Allen. Um, Holloway, Ricky Rainey, Charlie Vivas got on my ass in practice. Uh, Nassim got on my ass in practice. Uh, just, just the whole dark side, man. everybody from the dark side, man. It's a family, it's right? It's a family. It's a team thing. I mean, I thought it was an individual sport, but it's a team thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And all, everybody that helped me promote for the fight, um, bought tickets, you know, to help out for the cause. Mm -hmm. And um, got you ready, man. Just got, got back ready. focused, you know, healed up and got back in. Good deal. We can't wait to see you back at Fight Live. We'll see you back as a pro, hopefully, pretty yeah, yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, pro. And uh, take the night and enjoy your victory. You did awesome. All right. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. All right,